Shalom. Kahalayla Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem or Kankadash. All praises be to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, and pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson, a look at the big picture. <coughs> So this Roe versus Wade is another ingredient to stir the pot. The global elite motto is order out of chaos. And really, it's being used as a precursor to usher in future mandates when it comes to being tagged and tracked. So you'll no longer be able to use my body, my choice. And the other part of that is these Edomites have been suffering. Their numbers are diminishing with fentanyl, suicides, opioids. So what they did was they did a projection into 2040 that their numbers will be drastically reduced by that time. But the biggest reason is because of future mandates coming down the line. <clears throat> That's the main reason. Being plugged in digitally. So there's various factors that's driving this decision. So they've really made many big mistakes. So you have a aging population and you don't have the workforce generation to replace them because you gotta have a large workforce to support your elderly, your seniors. You gotta have a military. So again, Whenever you don't follow the Bible, it catches up with you. Eventually, you decline. You fall, just like every other empire. You would think we would be able to look at history and not repeat the same past mistakes. But the fact of the matter is, there is no such thing as free will. Let's go here. Excuse me. The abortion consumer. Disproportionately, the leading consumer of the abortionist services is the so-called African-American woman, according to the 2011 abortion surveillance report issued by the Center for Disease Control. The so-called black woman makes up 14% of the childbearing population, yet obtain 36% of reported abortions. So the most dangerous place for an Israelite male or female to be in is the womb of Eve. That's the most dangerous place for an Israelite to be in the womb of Eve because she has been seduced by this wicked system, given support to rely on Planned Parenthood, trusting Planned Parenthood. Black women, so-called, have the highest abortion ratio in the country. And that is 
a damn shame. Let's read that again. So the Bible says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Wow. Right here. It says, according to the CDC, the so-called black woman makes up 14% of the childbearing population, yet obtain 36.2% of all reported abortions. So-called black women have the highest abortion ratio in the country with 47 with 474 abortions per every 1,000 live births. Percentages at these levels illustrate that more than 19 million black babies, so-called, have been aborted since 1973. 19 million Israelites murdered since 1973. The most dangerous place to be is in the womb of Eve. I mean, look at these numbers. So 79% of these Planned Parenthood centers are in the Israelite communities. <coughs> Let's go to this right here. So this is all engineered, orchestrated, well planned out. Hence, Planned Parenthood clinics. So this is why when you understand the Bible, it opens up your third eye. It gives you a broader perspective. When we read the scripture, it's going to make sense. Let's go here. Sirach 25, verse 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Give the water no passage neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad. So that 19 million so-called black babies is just talking about since 1973. And that's what's on the books. So that number could be easily another 20% larger. Easily. Or 25% the 30%. <clears throat> so through her, we all die. The scriptures don't lie at all. Let's go from there. I mean, look at this. Planned Parenthood, 79% is in the so-called Negro Native American and Latino communities, or Hispanics, all by design, but yet and still in the pit that they have dug is turning on them. So the Edomite numbers are significantly low, way low. There's a famous video, or well not famous, but a very popular video is out on uh, with Joe Biden saying that by 2040, if we're not careful, I won't say what he said, but if they don't administer certain things effectively, then they're going to be the minority by 2040. And the truth of the matter is Edomites are already a minority. Wars, deaths of despair, fentanyl, opioids, Suicides. So that is the reality of the matter. So what they have planned 
against the Israelites is working against them. That is a spiritual intervention. Let's keep it moving. Let's read this one. One moment. The book of Proverbs, chapter 13, verse 22. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. So our children is our strength, our future. Without the children, there is no inheritance. There is no future. There is no nation. So what the Edomites are facing right now is a diminishing working class that is not large enough to help support a growing elderly population. Who's going, who is going to fight your next wars? Who's going to work? So their plan is to use robotics, technology, to replace a dwindling population. But it's not going to work. We're going to look this word up. One moment. Proverbs 13, verse 22. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Let's look up children's children. Children's children. Watch this. Comes from the Hebrew. Strong's H1121. Bane. Bane. It's really bond. Let's see what that means. Bond. Bond. B-A-N. A son as a builder of the family name. So that C that is inside of Eve is being co cultivated inside her womb. Incubated. That's the word I was looking for incubated. But when you look at that word generation, it goes back to gene, which goes back to sperm. So the seed belongs to the sons, the fathers. We've been taught through feminism and women's liberation that the baby is Eve, her body, her choice. But that seed belongs to the sons, gene, generation, sperm, or bond, which means sons. So we get the term bond yasharala, sons of Israel. Usually when you see children of Israel in the Bible, it's talking about bond yasharala because the inheritance is passed down through the male patriarchal bloodlines. Son, as a builder of the family name, Israel, like Israel, Yasharala, he prints power. And when you have Ban Yasharala, sons of the prince of the power. Or the plural form. Let's go from there. Proverbs 17 or 6. Children's children are the crown of old men. And the glory of children are their fathers. See? 
So where do we get feminism? A serpent, which means adversary of the God. Or Nakash, which is a sorcerer. So the serpent doctrine is deceptive, misleading, and leads to destruction, death. Proverbs 17, verse 6. Children's children are the crown of old men and the glory of children are their fathers. So what is Eve talking about? My body, my choice. Can a man decide not to support his children or not to take care of them? So we live in a society where Eve can decide to murder a child or not take care of it. That right is not given to the owner of that seed. Eve carries, incubates, or cultivates that seed. Nourishment. See? Numbers 1 and 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles, pedigrees, generations, which goes back to gene, which goes back to sperm. Spermal bloodline determines nationality. So you saying your body, your choice is a misnomer. It's misleading. It's deceiving. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. All throughout the scriptures. So we're living under the serpent and Eve has been seduced by the serpent, the adversary of the Most High. See, Sirach 3, verse 9. For the blessing of the Father establishes the houses of children, but the curse of the mother rooteth out foundations. Through Eve we all die. Let's go back to that. For the blessing is through the generations of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel. The inheritance is passed down through the sons, or Ban Yasharala. Surat 25, verse 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. The serpent knows this. Evil E knows this. Hence, plan parenthood. <coughs> Go back to that chart. See? This man knows what he is doing. The Bible says they conduct a deep or thorough search. Let's get that. <coughs> Psalms 64. Let's go here. Let's go to verse 5. They encouraged themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares. 
privately, they say, who shall see them? This is a snare. 19 million so-called black babies murdered since 1973. That's what's reported. That's on the books. That number could be another 33% higher. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares. Privately, they say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. Their minds run multiple layers of data studies, research. How did we fall spiritually? By being rebellious. So what do they teach? Do what thou will. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. I can't tell you who to sock it to. My body, my choice. You can murder. And the Bible says, thou shalt not murder. The law, statutes, and commandments are done away with. Just call on Jeebus. See? So Eve has been seduced by a lying serpent. His ways, his fruit of lies. It was not an apple that Eve consumed. It was philosophies of men, doctrines of devils, a fruit of lies. Let's keep it moving. Surat 3, verse 9. For the blessing of the Father establisheth the houses of children, but the curse of the mother rooteth out foundations. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So we're coming back to the ways of our fathers, Abraham. Isaac and Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel, and the daughters of Zion, the hopeful elect of the remnant of the house of Israel, are studying the ways of Sarah, and the beloved ladies of the hopeful elect from the days of old. I love this scripture right here. This is one of my favorite scriptures. Psalms 173. The book of Psalms, chapter 173, or excuse me, Psalms 127, verse 3. Lo, children are a heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. So we are killing the reward, the first fruits of the Most High, his elect. So these babies, they come back in the third and fourth generation. But the serpent's goal is to eliminate the seed of Israel for good. So oh, this is his strategy because a blessing is in the seed of Israel, his elect. Psalms 127, verse 3. Lo, children are a heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. So our children are a defense. Our children build the workforce. They build our militaries. Wait a minute. What if all the chosen women of the hopeful elect aborted the prophets? Samuel, David. Elijah, Jeremiah, 
So this is the strategy of the serpent, but it's in vain. The Most High protects the elect. So the babies that are being aborted, these more than likely are amongst those that he don't want anyway. No one can derail the will of the Father. Remember, Herod started killing Israelite boys two years old and under. See? So the serpent is always trying to devour Jake, to devour Israel. Lo, children are a heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Who's teaching the word where it's reached the gates of the noble? Who is compared to as a sword or arrow in the quiver? Go to Isaiah 49. The book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 2. And he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me and made me a polished shaft. In his quiver hath he hid me and said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. So the serpent is trying to steal or diminish the heritage and the glory of the Lord. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. See that? We are the arrows and the sword of the Lord the defense of the nation of Israel, the battle acts of the Lord. Psalms 127, verse 4, as arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth, prophets, apostles, teachers, were all birthed out of the nation of of Israel. What if Eve, I mean, it's not going to happen because it goes against his will. But what if she was killing the prophets like Jezebel did? See? So if this was allowed to go on full blown, there would not be any allowed of the nation of Israel had it not been for the Lord's mercy and grace we would have been consumed. But through his will, through his mercy and grace, through his hedge of protection, we live. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gates. So now, because of the birth of the elect, a remnant, because of the remnant, we are not destroyed. We are preserved. The book of Isaiah chapter 1 says, except the Lord had left us a remnant. Where is that at? Isaiah 1 verse 9. Except the Lord of hosts, except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. That means destroyed. These aborted 
fetuses are burned or destroyed. So that scripture means we would have been destroyed except the Lord had preserved a remnant. So don't, don't want to beat a dead horse. I think we beat the dead horse to death. Don't, don't want to belabor the point. So this is a glance or a look at the big picture. The Bible says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Hopefully this, hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kwakadash, Barakatham. See you on the next lesson, Lord Willem. Kwam Yasharala and Abad Babao. We got next, Lord Willem. Barakatham. Shalom.